few interesting properties of real numbers okay so one of it is law of trichotomy so this says if you have any two real numbers okay if you have a and b b any two real numbers then either a is greater than b or a is equal to b or a is less than b so this is the law of trichotomy trichotomy okay i will write this law so for for a b belongs to r exactly one of the following is true of the following is true okay first a is greater than b second a is equal to b and third a is less than b okay so that means if i consider 2 and 4 so we can write 2 is less than 4 you know that so if i write 2 and minus 5 so we can write 2 is greater than minus 5 that means if you take any arbitrary uh, real numbers 3 and 3 both are equal getting so that means if you select any two real numbers at uh, exactly one relation of, out of this three will hold this is true only for real numbers huh? if i write matrices 2 1 0 5 and second matrix 5 0 minus 1 3 so which matrix is greater than second matrix no there is no any such relation getting only for real numbers we have less than greater than equality is there okay equality all entries are same then matrix are equal okay but less than greater than that things are not there you can consider polynomials also 2x square plus 6x plus 9 or minus 9 and second polynomial 9x square minus 11x plus 2 if i ask which polynomial is greater than or less than second polynomial then there is no any such relations okay until we define something so for polynomials matrices all these things we don't have that thing but for real numbers we have less than greater than this kind of relation so this is law of trichotomy what is it if you have two real numbers either first is greater than second or first is equal to second or first is less than second so this is uh, law of trichotomy okay so after that we are going to discuss one more property huh? just a minute i will remove it i will simply mention properties hmm. property okay properties i will mention two properties actually both having a same meaning huh so that means if if a b c belongs to r suppose we have three real numbers a is greater than b and c is greater than 0 what it means that means a is greater than b and c is positive positive real number if you multiply both sides by c if you multiply a by c if you multiply b by c then same relation will be maintained if c is positive and second is if a b c are real numbers again we have a greater than b and we have c less than 0 that means c is negative getting if c is negative and if you multiply okay such uh, inequality then we will have a c less than b c very important thing that means if you have any relation less than greater than and if you multiply both sides by positive real number then same relation will be maintained but if you multiply by any negative real number then exactly opposite relation we will have you can check uh, discuss we can see the example so you know that 2 is uh, you know that 2 is less than 4 see if i multiply both sides by 6 what will happen this is 2 into 6 12 and 4 into 6 24 so 12 is less than 24 same relation is maintained getting but if i if i multiply both sides by minus 3 if i multiply both sides by minus 3 what will happen minus 3 into 2 minus 6 minus 4 into uh, sorry 4 into minus 3 minus 12 so minus 6 is greater than minus 12 so inequality change so when i multiply by positive number same inequality is maintained but when i multiply by negative number inequality became change getting so that's why this is a very important property okay if you want you can make a screenshot of it okay make a screenshot of it okay so let us discuss two more properties hmm. first is 
square of any real number is always non negative okay we are already familiar with that in our school uh, in schools also our teacher has told us that means square of any real number okay cannot be negative a square of any number cannot be negative okay so that thing we are already familiar with that that is for any a belongs to r a square is always greater than or equal to 0 If you have positive number, square is positive. No need to worry about it. If we have zero, square is zero. That means equality is also there. And when we have any negative number, okay, for example, minus two. What is its square? Four. So that means there is no minus sign. Okay, if you take a square, so that's why square is always greater than or equal to zero. Next is denseness property. That is very interesting property. Okay, so and it has very importance. Okay. uh for real numbers so denseness property says between any two real numbers there are infinitely many real numbers okay i will simply write here uh between between any two real numbers any two real numbers there are there are infinitely many infinitely many real numbers okay real numbers see for example suppose i draw line like this 0 you know that this is a real line minus 1 0 1 2 and if i ask you a simple question how many numbers are there between 0 and 1 how many numbers are there 10 no 100 no infinite numbers are there between 0 or 0 and 1 okay or in a um, different way if i ask a question like this okay what is the next number what is the next number to 0 what is the next number to 0 1 no 1 by 2 is between 0 and 1 getting my point 1 by 2 is here so 1 by 2 means 0.5 that is uh, next number to 0 no there is 0.1 here which is next is it next to zero no there is some point point not 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 one is number is also there is this next to zero no so there is no any answer since there are infinite numbers so that's why it is not possible to find a next number to zero you are getting my point so what i want to say there are infinite numbers okay see if i ask how many numbers are there between minus 1 and 2 infinite numbers if i ask how many numbers are there between 0 and 1 infinite numbers if i ask how many numbers are there between 0 and 0.1 okay 0.001 how many numbers are there again my answer is same there are infinite numbers and one more important thing these are real numbers we know that but these are rationals also there are rationals and irrational both numbers are there okay or the same thing we can say in different way also between any two rationals you can find at least one irrational or between any two irrationals you can find at least one rational okay so yeah this is a next step to it okay but uh, density property denseness property or density theorem says there are infinitely many real numbers between any two real numbers okay so if you want you can make a screenshot of it to write your notes and we will go further okay let us discuss okay very interesting thing that is concept of plus infinity and minus infinity few days before just uh, one of you had asked me so what is meaning of infinity or what is meaning of minus infinity so let us discuss those points okay so you know the real line okay you know the real line we always consider zero okay at the middle okay and we always consider i am at zero So on this side I will have one, two, three, four, and on this side I will have minus one, minus two. That means all negative numbers I consider on this side, and all positive numbers I consider on that side. So that means here I can write one, two, three, four, and here minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay. See my board. Okay, this white board finishes here. Okay, that white board finishes here. Otherwise I can go further. Right? Four, five, six. Will you tell me what is the largest number? What is the largest number? Can you tell me what is the largest number? Four? No. 
10 10 is also there my board finishes here it doesn't mean that that 5 or 6 is the largest number you can go further okay you can continue you can go up to america also so what will be the largest number 100 1000 10000 10 lakhs what is the largest number yeah tell me what is the largest number 50 lakhs 1 crore okay there is no any largest number okay so we consider there is a infinity there is infinity positive infinity with that we consider on that side on this side we will consider negative infinity infinity in simply marathi we can say ananta you are getting so it will go up to infinity and here it will go up to minus infinity keep in your mind huh these are simply concepts these are not numbers like one two three four getting so these are simply concepts concept means here infinity if you add five if you add 5 in infinity, what will you have? Infinity. Infinity again. Okay. You know the uh, how much water is there in a sea. Getting? How much water is there? Infinite water is there. If you put, okay, if you put one spoon water in a sea, how much water will be there? Again infinite. Okay. If you uh, put one bucket water in a sea, what will you have? Again, infinite. Getting so that means in an infinity, it's a concept. If you add or if you subtract something, you will have same answer, infinity. Okay. So to clear this concept, okay, just a minute. Huh? Before that, I, I need to mention here for 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 any a belongs to R minus infinity less than a less than infinity that means a every real number always lies between infinity and minus infinity hmm. so to clear the concept i am going to ask you one puzzle okay so that puzzle is uh, suppose there is a lodge okay there is one huge lodge so i consider this is a lodge see th this is a lodge okay this is a receptionist some person is there Okay, this is a lodge. And how many rooms are there? There are infinite rooms. Okay, it's a concept, right? it's a simply puzzle. What I'm saying, how many rooms are there? There are infinite rooms. Infinite, huh? It doesn't terminate. Room number one, room number two, three, four. Some numberings are also there. Okay, so all these are rooms. And how many rooms are there? I'm repeating infinite rooms are there there is no hundred thousand rooms infinite rooms are there okay and all rooms are book all rooms are engaged getting there are some people okay so all rooms are occupied by some guest hmm. and uh, yeah one person one guest came from outside that person is in a search of room okay so actually uh, he, he had a need of room and he came there and that person saw all rooms are engaged so that's why he was going back okay he was going back since he felt that we will not get any room here since all rooms are engaged and he was going back but the that person receptionist or the owner of hotel asked that person okay guest guest don't go don't go okay what you want what can i help you then that person said sir actually i want one room but i saw that all rooms are engaged Okay, so that's why uh, I, I'm going. I, I'm going back because I feel that I will not get any room here. Then that owner of lodge said, "Sir, don't worry. I can manage one room for you." Okay, so my question is, or the puzzle is, how that owner of lodge, okay, can manage one room for that person? This is my question. What do you think? How that uh, owner can manage one room okay since all rooms are already engaged so how can make he available one room for this guest so this is a question okay you have to answer this question what you can do you can pause this video you can take five minutes ten minutes think over it and tell me the answer okay you can pause the video think and then continue the video okay so i'm going to tell you the answer okay i i so uh, i consider that you have thought for five or ten minutes and you continued this video see uh, what happened that owner declared okay on the mic that person who has stayed in room number n okay he has to shift or she has to shift to room number n plus one that means guest of room number eight will shift to room number nine okay Guest from room number 9 will shift to room number 10. 
10 will shift to 11, 11 will shift to 12. Getting room number, the people from room number 1 will shift to room number 2, room number 2 will shift to room number 3, 3 will go to 4, 4 will go to 5. Suppose I, I have stayed at room number 100, then I have to shift to room number 101, the simple logic. Okay, so if this thing will happen, what will happen? This room number 1 will be empty. Since 1 is shifted to 2, 2 is shifted to 3. So that's why this person can go to room number 1. So maybe you are thinking that if 1 is goes to 2, 2 is goes to 3, then what about the last person? Where he, that person will go? Getting but don't need, no need to worry since there are infinite rooms. So there is no any last room. Getting? Since it is infinite. So last concept is not there. So that's why we, can, we could found found a solution on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you want, you can make a screenshot of it and after that we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.